brand manager who's managing Bud Light, and this is her justification for the Dylan Mulvaney uh, endorsement or brand deal. Here it goes. It's just pre priceless. Well, I'm a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I had a really clear job to do when yeah. I took over Bud Light. And it was, this brand is in decline. It's been in decline for a really long time. And if we do not attract... Really? Because I was pretty sure that Bud Light was the number one beer in uh, of all beers, right? Now, I don't drink anymore. Uh, you know, I haven't had anything for two and a half years. I just like kind of grew out of it more than anything else. Uh, but I was pretty sure Bud Light was the number one beer. Now, beer uh, as a category, I'm also believe is also down as a category overall. Um, so, so there's that. But I don't think that Bud Light is of of the most suffering ones. I don't have the statistics on that, but I'm pretty sure Bud Light is the number one. By the way, by the way, Bud Light stinks. And I mean, I, I've certainly had uh, Bud Light before, but I was a Bud Bud guy a uh, regular bud not bud light not i in a pinch i'd have a bud light but i would buy bud right yeah by the by the let it as i would call it young drinkers to come and drink this brand there will be no future for bud light so i had this oh no no future for bud light we have to get young drinkers just it sounds like we have to get it just sounds like a tobacco executive from years ago we have to get young smokers for clear mandate. It's like mm -hmm. we need to evolve and elevate this incredibly iconic brand. And my what I brought to that was a belief in okay, what is what it what is and why is it iconic? Because of the advertising. They've had brilliant advertising, right? Remember the I, I think it was the frogs, right? Bud, bud, bud light. Evolve and elevate mean it means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. It it means inclusivity. Everything means inclusivity. It's shifting the tone. Is having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different and appeals to women and to men. Because before it was dark and mysterious and dangerous. Now it's lighter, brighter, and different. Mm -hmm. And representation is at sort of the heart of evolution. You've got to see people who reflect you in the work and we had this hangover i mean oh my god <laughs> you've got to see people who uh, I, this is like straight out of the uh this is like some university class that's exactly what it is i think she's about to use the word hangover hold on a second i think she's about to use the word hangover light had been kind of a brand of fratty kind of out of touch humor and it was really important <laughs> that we had Freddie, Freddie out of touch humor. She's basically just throwing her entire audience that drinks Bud Light, the people who drink Bud Light right now, under the bus, under the bus. Another approach. Yeah, she's going to get another approach. All right. I, I think that I saw my uh, cousin, sort of cousin, you know, you know, in your Irish, yeah, is, uh, everyone's a cousin um drinking a Bud Light and I didn't say anything to him because you know it just wasn't the appropriate time uh but we did talk about it later out in the driveway and it, it, there's going to be some backlash here there's definitely going to be some backlash here uh Clay Travis oh holy shit Bud Light's head of marketing who probably doesn't even drink beer says she had to rescue Bud Light's brand from her frat guy party image by paying chicks with dicks to be more inclusive <laughs> Uh, there were a lot of uh, directions that they could have went with uh, Bud Light here, but they chose to go in this direction, which is just like absolutely astounding that that this is this is what they chose to do. Uh, you know, you wonder. It, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder uh, where where these people come from, and I think we know where they come from. But we ever pulled that uh, Bud Light brand manager. We pulled her uh, resume, so to speak. She probably went to some leafy liberal college. She probably went to Wellesley or someplace like that. That's where they learn all of this, right? How to hate your audience, how to how to hate Americans, right? The the effective message of the Democratic Party and the far left is that we hate you, we hate you, we hate America, 
we want to change America to be uh, not what it is now. We don't want, and effectively, they're enemies of uh, capitalism. They hate capitalism.